Welcome back, I've got another torch in to look at today and it's the Claris XT11X and this was sent in via Bantac for review. Quite a lot of requests on this particular torch. I also looked at this predecessor which was very popular. So we go through the spec sheets as per usual on the box just to show you some of the features. And what you'll notice with this particular torch is we have a higher power output in the turbo of up to 3200 lumens. We still got four power levels though so we'll see how that affects things later on and a few more bit of information here as well we've also got an orange peel reflector on this particular one on the side of the box just some of the key features range 283 meters which is actually slightly less than the xt11 gt which i looked at a couple of years ago now onto the body i have put the dimensions on the screen for you and this is slightly longer than the 11 gt by just under a centimeter and, but they've kept most of the same design from that torch on this particular one. So we still have the clip and we've got the micro USB port for charging. I'll just take that off. That's just a warning about the battery. So very similar design. The head is a bit more splayed out as in, in a cone fashion rather than straight. So it's a bit different in that regard. But the rest of the torch is very much similar to what we've seen before. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's quite a popular model. Now we can see the dual switches on the bottom. We've got a single switch and a paddle. And that can be customized later on. I'll show you the user interface on that. A good feel on these switches. Nice responsive feedback on them. And it means that you've got a total of three switches overall, which is quite useful, particularly if you need to access low, strobe and the turbo. Just a single hole for this for the strap. And here's a quick shot showing you that you can tail stand it reasonably stably if it's on a flat surface. You will note though that there is no tactical ring supplied with this. Slightly disappointed in that because I do quite like that myself. Now just taking the battery out, this is a high drain cell. They've rated it to 3,100 milliamp hours and it's also protected. So they've had a protected circuit onto that. So we're going to do a test on that later on just to see how that fares. Now inside you'll see that there is a spring as well. So this means that we can use flat top cells with this. We can also use other uh, batteries with it the protected ones and what this torch does is it will adjust the power output so that you don't trip the turbo and that is a very useful feature particularly with this cell here i've got a night core now normally this type of battery is not going to be nearly powerful enough to power it a turbo but the torch will reduce its power output down to compensate for that and that is actually a really useful feature to have because otherwise you'd have to keep removing the battery to um, reset the trip on the uh, protected cell. Now they're using an XHP 70.2 P2 LED. Not seen this before but notice the texturing quite thick on this and coarse and we also have the crenulated bezel, stainless steel bezel which can be unscrewed and removed. Advantage of that is you can fit other things in there. There are some filters that you can buy for this and there might be a strike bezel available. There was on the previous model. Sandblasted finish on that. And we also have the micro USB cable and a spare O-ring. And this is the wrist strap. Very much standard strap that I've seen from other makers and Claris. Decent enough. There's also some documentation included. They've got week, uh, monthly giveaways. And this is a look at some of the other models that they do. Notice that extra range on the GT model. So a slightly longer range on that. And there's also a design promotion where you can help Claris make lots of money by telling them how to design torches. We'll leave that one to yourself. And the user guide I will cover later on as I always do. Now the supplied holster is similar to the last Claris torch I looked at. So you've got that thicker neoprene case. You still have the D-ring and the Velcro section on the back. Personally, I think I prefer the previous uh, versions of the pouches because they weren't as bulky or as thick but if you like a thick padded case then this provides plenty of protection for the torch but you can only put this in with the head up because of these dimensions of the head have increased over the previous one so you have to put it head up that's the only downside with that it's a good quality holster i just like something a little bit uh, more slimline myself now onto the user interface single press on long press off with a mode memory and you also have an instant low if you want it. So you have the four power levels that you cycle down with the side switch. That's been pretty much the same on a lot of Claris torches with a side switch for a while. And then onto the strobe, you can double press when on or off, and then double press to cycle. 
and then single press again will turn the torch off. Now onto the tail switch, you have momentary or instant turbo and a half turn will lock out the torch fully, a mechanical lockout on the torch. Now the paddle switch, if you're in tactical mode, will be strobe. So it'll be momentary, if you hold it in for a second or two longer, then it will stay in the strobe mode. And you can also cycle through power levels on that as well, you get the three. Now to switch between the tactical and outdoor, push and hold the paddle switch and the side switch, and you'll get a flash come up, one or two flashes to cycle between the two modes. So that's a quicker press than we had on previous models, which is probably a good idea. And you can get access then to the instant low or from the momentary as well. And you also cycle up the four power levels. So you have a choice of the strobe or the instant low. It's really down to yourself. And there's your side switch lockout. Very straightforward and simple. I don't think it's hard to grasp at all. And it's quite a flexible user interface. So I'm quite happy with that myself. And I have been for a while now. Doesn't take too long to pick up if you've never used a torch before from Claris. This is your battery level LED indicator, which changes color. And I said I promised the user guide, so this is just the specs which we've already covered, but you can pause this and have a look through on the interface, which I've enlarged this section. So you can have a look on the user interface in a bit more detail in case it makes it a bit clearer for you. The user guide is actually quite good on the Claris torches that I've used. It's fairly easy to follow and straightforward. So no real complaints on that side of things. Now on to the charging tests. The charging speeds were quite good on this, just over one amp, 1.12, and the termination voltage was 4.19 volts, so no issues there. Battery test, this came in a touch under the quoted spec at 3003, although it's not far off to be fair, and the underwater test didn't see any problems at all with this, and you shouldn't have problems. Now we'll start off with the beam shots at the 100 lumen mark, which is medium on this torch, stepping up to high, which is 300 lumens. Now you're gonna notice quite a big jump up to the turbo level. Now for me, I think that's a good reason why you'd need an extra power level in there, maybe about seven, 800 lumens. But we move on to the concept one, 1800 lumens, quite powerful, but obviously not nearly as much as this. And with the XT11 GT, there is a bit more focus. So there's a good beam pattern, on the Claris, it's not quite got the range of the Ace Beam L30, which you will see on the screen here. And I'll just show you some more beam shots now with the hotspot. So it is a fairly enlarged hotspot, it's diffused, so not as tight as previous versions. But still, we'll run through the beam shots now, play a bit of music, and then come back with a few thoughts at the end.
you'll notice at the end there I put the 300 lumen shot in just to show you the difference when it's stepping down in power. It steps down to maybe about seven or 800 lumens over a period of time. So my thoughts and conclusion with the Claris, there's a lot that I like with this torch and I always have done with the Claris style of tactical torches, but there are a few things on this. The main one is that large jump from the high to turbo. Really does need that extra power level. Also would have preferred a tactical ring. Um, don't have a moonlight mode but there are some nice user interface with this on the upside now and you also have that battery level indicator there's this kind of a mixed bag in a way there's a lot to like but certainly a few things to dislike so do let me know what you think on this particular model and i will catch up with you in my next video review very soon